Hi everyone, welcome to my review of Wes Anderson's Eye with Dogs in 2018. Um, so yes, here we are, another Wes Anderson uh, review. Um, pretty quickly, of course. Um, you know, before that, I'd only done a couple, and you know, that was most, mostly last year, of course. Um, I had, of course, reviewed uh, Moonrise Kingdom pretty recently. Um, so yes, here we are with Blu-ray, and um, it's one of the only ones I have access to um, at the moment. So yes, this is his latest film. It came out last year, and uh, stop motion. Animation, um, so you know, like uh, Fantastic Mr. Fox, um, and yeah, I haven't seen it either. Um, but yes, this film, very, very acclaimed. Um, you know, most people, well, a lot of people love this film, um, you know, and, and, and many people, you know, it's a lot more mainstream than a lot of his films. Um, but yes, many, many people love this film and said it's one of his best. Um, I've heard some, some people say it's his best film. Um, so yeah, I was really, really looking forward to this. And, um, you know, I think by this point, I think um, for me, I kind of thought, you know, there's it's going to be hard for, to, for Wes Anderson to make a film I dislike, and um, you know I love Moonrise Kingdom, Royal Tenenbaums, um, absolutely, and of course uh, the Grand Budapest. Um, so yeah, love these three films, and uh, this was the next one to see um, at the moment. And um, yeah, it's uh, basically um, you know stop motion, of course, and it's, a, it's set in dystopian uh, Japan, um, you know dystopian future and uh, near future anyway. And yes, about basically about this twelve-year-old um, boy um, named. Atari and um, the main plot of the film, uh, you know, I'm not going to get into it too much, uh, but it concerns him, um, you know, searching for his his dog uh, that was banished to this island. It's a very, very, you know, uh, bizarre film, but yes, basically these dogs. There was an outbreak of, of this kind of uh, canine flu, and um, a lot of the dogs are banished to this particular island um, and left to kind of roam around, you know, separate from the humans. Um, of course, there's humans in the film, and then there's dog stuff, really. It's not, it's not really mixed in too much, um, but of course Atari, um, you know, joins these, you know, mainly five dogs um, in search of his, you know, his, his, his lost dog um, and, uh, you know, the, the other, you know, main characters of the film, the five dogs, um, you know, voiced by very, very, you know, big actors here, you know, Brian Cranston, um, you know, Jeff Goldblum, Bill Murray, um, say, if it was well, Edward Norton, um, basically a lot of the regulars, uh, you know, from Wes Anderson films and, yeah, it's an adventure film, um, you know, it's a, it's a drama, it's definitely a comedy once again, um, and it's very, very political this time uh, round. I didn't really feel that in any of the, yeah, the other Wes Andersons at all. You know, they're not really concerned with this sort of stuff. Um, they're very much, you know, they are definitely Wes Anderson books. This does say, uh, you know, it does feel, I must say, um, less of a Wes Anderson um, in that sense. You know, it's not really as much his own kind of, uh, you know, style and stuff. It has, of course, got the, the usual, um, you know, immaculate framing um, and the way he uses different uh, side swipes and, and you know the zooms and everything um, it's definitely uh, very similar in that sense the the meticulous uh, design and stuff and I will say um, you know visually this film is absolutely stunning um, you know it's more kind of grimy and stuff um, you know than, than a lot of um, you know animated films but it's very different as well because it is stop motion um, this is absolute mastery here um, no doubt just um, absolutely genius here I will say um, the stop motion really really wowed me um you know i, I really like the score as well um you know and, and just yes the overall um the use of colors in the film um the, the frame once again it's all it's all you know he's in control of what he's trying to say um and yes i must say um although i was really really looking forward to this one um yeah i, I was very disappointed um unfortunately i did like it you know again I, I definitely don't dislike the film um as i said it'd be hard for that to happen uh with that some film um but yes Loads of people call it a masterpiece, um, I don't think so uh, at all, you know, I was very disappointed. I did like it, as I say, um, but, you know, even from the beginning, um, you know, I always feel like I'm straight away immersed in the, you know, these Wes Anderson films I've seen, um, you know, straight away. He immerses you in these worlds um, that are very, very unique and um, original and just, yeah, have a very particular tone, very whimsical at times, um, you know, this is very, very different and um, it starts off with the human stuff. Um, now, what he does in this film... He doesn't really, um, you know, use subtitles, and obviously it's Japanese characters and stuff. Um, there's no subtitles really for the actual dialogue. Um, it's all kind of translated. Um, one of my first flaws of the film, um, in this occasion, I would have actually preferred, you know, just to be subtitled um, because it just, I don't think it quite works uh, really for me in the way that, yeah, it just, it, it's just very bizarre. I didn't quite get, you know, how it came about. But yeah, basically, um, it really, I, I wasn't immersed, basically, first of all, in the first 10 minutes, really. Um, you know, you start off with the human stuff. And for me, um, most of the film, um, I didn't really care too much for any of the human stuff in the film, the aspects there. 
the stories, the characters there, um, I didn't really care for. You know, the general the general plot of the film uh, involving the dogs and the overall, you know, Atari in search of his dog, I really connected to and I did actually love at first. But the stuff with the humans, um, no, it didn't quite work for me, um, really. Um, there's a couple of moments that were quite funny and stuff with the, the sumo wrestling and everything. Um, but really, this is the problem, the political, you know, humour and stuff and the undertones and stuff. For me, it doesn't really work that well, um, and it just wasn't that compelling. Um, unfortunately, some of the humour fell short, um, and just, yeah, I wasn't really connected to it. It was very, again, as well, um, with this film, actually. Unfortunately, it was a bit convoluted. Um, so, yeah, you know, it was not a great start to the film, um, I must say, the first 10 minutes. Uh, but then you get, you know, the more emotional resonance. You actually get these characters, you know, that we're going to be following, um, and Atari, and, you know, the whole setup there. It's really, really great actually at times, um, and yeah, I was actually after this until the 45 minute mark, um, really, really liking the film, um, you know, I was, I was at times loving, um, you know, the scenes with the dogs, um, I think it was really, really well done, um, there's a charm to it, there's a definitely great comedy in there, um, it was just all really, really enjoyable mostly, um, apart from the occasional switchbacks to the kind of, um, the humans, and I just didn't like how it was more, it was very commercialised in, in a way, the whole kind of yeah, I, I didn't really like uh, a lot of the stuff with, with the media in this film. Um, it was just, it just didn't quite work for me. Uh, and I can see what he's trying to do, um, but it was just, yeah, it, it didn't work. Um, you know, I, I wasn't presented really for me personally with any interesting human characters. Um, Atari is different, but you know, the rest of the cast, the side characters, um, and you know, just the you know, Kobayashi and stuff. You know, the character of him. Um, you know, it just didn't. Didn't quite work, um, as I say, um, there was occasional switchbacks um, until the 45 minute mark when things re really start to take a dip overall and um, you know that slowly started to decline um, to a point where even the stuff with the dogs uh, and the main you know narrative really it, it was it was less than great that's for sure um, you know it went from at times great uh, slash very good um, to merely good at times average um, you know in the rest of the film the second half um, was a lot worse for me and um, you know I do like the film I think it's a good film um, but it could have been so much more for me and um, yeah the, the Atari character I really really liked um, I followed his story um, you know and I really got invested um, at times emotionally um, you know it's very very human um, the fierce and the whole kind of story um, him wanting to find his dog is very very touching um, and it plays out really really well um, you know in the first half unfortunately there's a kind of twist and this isn't going to be spoilers I'm not going to say exactly what it is um, but yeah there is a twist um, kind of halfway through and um, yeah you kind of realize certain things that have happened and, 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 and things that have arisen um, and it didn't work for me um, it kind of it kind of annoyed me um, and just I didn't quite feel uh, you know the, the warmth there um, I thought it was a really I, I didn't like that move, um, what happened there, and uh, it just completely changed the film um, after that. And yeah, it, it focused a lot more in the second half on, on all the human characters, and um, you know, just I was slowly kind of starting to lose connection um, with these, these, the whole kind of thing going on with the dogs. Um, you know, it was kind of dispersed a little bit. They weren't as much of a team, um, you know, which I was really, really um, enjoying. Um, you know, in the first half. I loved, you know, certain moments of the film. Um, you know, there was definitely great moments. Um, you know, it just, it just really, really worked at first for the dogs. Um, but it slowly started to just kind of go all over the place again. Um, you know, it just, it never really came together in a way that, that moved me. And it, yeah, certainly the last act of the film, um, I didn't like too much. Um, so yeah, very, very disappointing in this film um, for me. Um, but I do think there's a lot of great stuff in there. Um, and we'll wrap up soon. And uh, yeah, I don't really have too much to say about this one, but. I do really love the animation. Um, I think the music um, is really, really good. Um, you know, the, the script at times is very unique and creative. Um, and the main thing that is, you know, genius stuff is, is the animation. The actual, the, the stop motion to this film um, is absolutely stunning. Um, and you know, I do think it was really, really promising at, at first, and it really had me invested in the first half. Um, I did. I was probably going to give this, um, you know, kind of a high eighty percent mark um, at times. It was nearing to the 90%, um, but yeah, for as the case with, with some films, you know, it, it changes. Um, and I didn't quite connect personally to the, to the second half a lot. And yeah, there's a character, um, you know, Tracy Walker, I think it was. Um, she was an awful character for me, the worst Wes Anderson character I've ever seen, and just shocking. Um, I never thought Wes Anderson, you know, with all respect, would create a character this bad. Um, you know, I hated this character, um, and she was just a modern trendy character who I, I really did not like. Um, the humour 
in every scene she was in uh, did not work. Um, so yeah, we'll get that out of the way. Hated that character um, and she was in it quite a lot in the second half. And uh, yeah, I just think um, a lot of the side characters actually that's the case. Um, they're not that great. These dogs in the main cast, um, you know, are really, really good. Um, some great stuff there. I love certain moments, as I say. Um, had a real charm to it and just just really, really investing and human and, and really, really funny. Um, you know, had an adventurous spirit uh, that I was really liking. And yeah, you know, it did have um, a harshness as well, which is very interesting. Um, you know, it's trying to, very, you know, strong messages here about, you know, animals and stuff. And yeah, it wasn't, uh, Wes Anderson was not afraid to kind of um, show quite graphic stuff in this. You know, it's, it's certainly not, you know, kind of a, a Disney film or anything. Um, it's very, very graphic and, and quite grim at times, um, you know, which was, yeah, it's definitely unique. Uh, you know, I, f I appreciate what he went for there. But yeah, as I say, um, it really takes a dip in the seven, second half and um, just, just uh, unfortunately a bit boring at times. Um, but you know, I can't say that, that I dislike the film. Um, I do think the first half, um, as I say, I really liked at times loved. So, you know, it can only take the film down so much. And, uh, you know, I did like some moments in the second half. There was there's still some laughs here and there and some, you know, kind of good action scenes and stuff. But yeah, I think, um, you know, the animation throughout is great, great stuff. Um, it's truly wonderful. Um, this is a great piece of animation. Um, it's truly something else. And even just, as I say, the framing, you know, that he always tries to do um, is not lost here. Um, you know, it's really meticulous. So yes, I, I think uh, what, what fault is really is the characters uh, and, and the narrative main in the second half. Um, and really most of the stuff with the humans um, is completely different. You know, it does not feel like a Wes Anderson film for me, from what I've seen even, um, you know, the three films that I'd seen before this and um, yeah it's, it's definitely the worst I've seen so far. I loved the other three, um, you know I think they're all great films. Two of them are masterpieces um, for me, the ones I've seen, um, you know of course one being Moonrise Kingdom um, but yeah this one it's a good film um, and I have to give it a 71% um, you know I think the voice acting is great, um, you know it's a very unique film and um, you know very I love uh, as well just overall some of the, the homages to um, you know kind of Japanese cinema, um, you know, I think the homages are great. Um, there is a kind of, a, you know, I, I don't, nothing against it, but it's a very weird way to put the Seven Samurai theme in there, you know, you've seen that film. And yeah, you know, I suppose uh, it was kind of funny and stuff, but I didn't quite get how that was meant to be, you know. Yeah, it, it didn't quite work me in the, in the context of the film, but yeah, there's that in there, you know, it's a, definitely an homage uh, for him to Japanese cinema, um, some of the character names as well. But yes, um, you know, I think, as I say, a unique film, uh, a one that I enjoyed overall, um, but it's mainly this, the first half that I really enjoyed, um, at times loved. That would have been, you know, another Wes Anderson uh, film that I was really, really impressed with. Um, you know, it would have, it's not on the love level of, you know, the other ones I'd seen, but, you know, I was definitely very impressed with it, and uh, the animation wowed me. Um, the stop motion is remarkable stuff, um, but yes, it, it, unfortunately, Things take a dip, and as I say, the second half um, is really like a completely different film, and um, you know, I didn't find that warmth, uh, the charm, and just the overall investment at all um, with what the first half had. And yeah, the stuff with the humans, it could have been so much better in my opinion. Um, the characters, say, like Tracy Walker, um, I don't want to say much more about that, because that was a complete write-off for me, and um, you know, I really hated that character. But yeah, you've got really, um, really good voice acting in the film, great at times. Brian Cranston, uh, Bill Murray, uh, F. Murray Abraham, Harvey Keitel was in the, you know, voice acting, Tilda Swinton, you know, basically all the dog stuff, you know, all these characters mostly, apart from one of the characters, um, you know, that kind of meets with one of our main uh, dogs, um, you know, she's not great, but yeah, mostly all this dog stuff is great actually, um, very, very enjoyable, um, a lot to love here, but you know, it's kind of two different films in one and I don't think it all works. Definitely not a perfect film for me and one that I think is good, um, you know, it's not, not great, but good. Um, yes, I was disappointed, but you know, it's just my my thoughts, just just my review. Um, you know, I do think most people love this film. Um, if you like animated films, um, and if you like, well, I, I do think though personally, I have to be be honest. It's not really for me like a Wes Anderson film. Um, the if you've seen his other ones, um, you know, like the Royal Tenenbaums and, and and you know and stuff. I don't think it's anything like that. You know, it is an animated film, but even so, um, you know, it's not really the same sort of the tone and stuff, um, you know, and the usual, the usual charm, um, yeah, for me, the usual investment and stuff that I would expect from Wes Anderson film, and, um, you know, the actual themes and the way, it, you know, the scope of this film is very, very different, um, it's a lot more 
yeah i think it's a lot more modern in in, in very particular ways that you know i don't i don't usually quite like as much um and it's very based around technology um which is fine but yes um for me just overall it suffers in you know in, in quite a lot of areas um including this overall narrative and um you know the the, the characters that are presented um but yes for me a good film um could definitely have been great and um greatness in there with really really invested in stuff uh, the dog stuff um is all you know is all um things that i love slash like really like um but you know it, it's a mixed bag film at times um so yeah good film um and of course highly recommend it um so yes thanks for watching my review